tonight, the stakes are high as these three expert cake designers compete to turn one wedding couple's dream into a reality, to win a fabulous trophy, and to take home a $5,000 prize. Who will win? We're about to find out. This is Cakewalk. I'm Vanessa Purini. Creating beautiful wedding cakes is what I was born to do. I can't wait to show what I'm made of and take home the grand prize. My name is Rita Jarahian. I create one-of-a-kind cakes that are fit for royalty. I'm known internationally for my flowers and intricate designs. And I love cake competitions. I'm Wendy Clark and cake is my life. I specialize in fashion-inspired designs and I'm a total perfectionist in the kitchen. I'm here to compete and I'm here to win. I'm Caroline Ray, and welcome to Cakewalk Wedding Cake Edition. You just saw the designers who will compete to create the perfect cake for our perfect wedding couple, Jamie and Jill. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. What are you guys looking for in your cake? I say we're looking for a traditional cake, but with a little flair of a, a unique flair to it. Something that's so a little outside the box. Speaking of out of the box, your ring is so beautiful. <gasps> Thank you. And how did he propose? I really want to make that you know, a special proposal. So I uh, put flowers down the stairs. When she came in, I had a dress for it. She'd get all dressed up for uh, the big moment. We had a little note saying, put on this really pretty dress and get excited for a really fun day. So then I quickly throw the dress on and I ran upstairs and then there was another note at the top with a little box and like the key necklace, something along the lines of like, open this box and unlock the key to your future, something along those lines. She's very bubbly, just jumping through the roof. And there I was, down on one knee, and I proposed to her. And uh, that was the start of the day. So you seem very detail-oriented. You had everything planned moment by moment. What design elements do you want to see on your cake? The color of the day will be important. And every woman dreams about her dream wedding dress. So I was thinking, if you really need to have an aspect of a dress weaved into the cake. Yeah. Different, unique, out of the box. Perfect. The designers have been briefed on your likes and dislikes regarding style and flavor, and now it's up to them to create your beautiful cake. Because as you know, you've agreed to let our judges decide which cake is best for you. So why don't you take this time to go plan your honeymoon, Great. all right? Perfect. All right, we'll see you later. Elaborate cakes like these usually take weeks to create. Tonight, our designers have just seven hours to complete the task. The competition takes place in two timed rounds, separated by a taste test. The first round runs three hours. To give the designers a head start, we've allowed them to begin the competition with their cake bases pre-made. The clock is set. Designers, are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Good. Get your fondant ready. The clock starts now. I'm gonna put this down for easy cleanup. What do you think? Carve it really, really curved? Really or, uh, Do you think it'll hold with their design? Absolutely. The design I created today really tells the story of Jill and Jamie. The key at the bottom resembles their engagement, the bow in the middle resembles their wedding day, and the butterfly on top resembles their future together. It's a shame to waste all this cake. <laughs> we have a bubble right here. My design today, it's going to be a lot of draping, gum paste flowers, and royal icing piping. So that's quite a challenge for me to do this cake in my mind. So I'm, I'm really stressed for that. Barb, you're going to need the pizza cutter to cut the edges yep. of that smoothly. The cake that I will be creating today is a take on vintage fashion. I'm going to be having some ruffles around the bottom, some sugar beading. It's going to be about eight tiers tall, and then the topper on the cake. It's a hostage ball with this beautiful glittered flower on top. These gloves aren't working out too good today. <laughs> Change, you have another pair? Yeah, yeah. Don't burn yourself. We need those hands. Lucky hands. <laughs> My assistant today is Elpidio. Elpidio's sugar work is out of this world. It will put us over the edge and we will win this competition just for the sugar itself. What do you think of this green color? Oh, it looks great. It's gonna look great with that eggplant purple. Did you hear the couple say she wanted to have uh, her dress to be on the cake? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Which beautiful. is like fabulous. Yeah. We, we designed it that way and we're gonna have 
the upper hand here. My assistant, Tushi, is my secret weapon. She's gonna be my backbone, helping me. She's good in covering the cakes. I tell her something and I rely that she's gonna do a good job. Doing fine, The gum glue is ready, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You know what, Barb, you're gonna have to help me. I'm gonna have to um, move okay, this okay. because we're covering, because this is not the best part and this is the front. I've known my assistant Barb for four years. This will be our first time working together, so this will be very interesting. Okay, ready? No, no. We just can't lift this. Just the cake base. Okay. I need you to put your hands. Okay, thank yeah. you. You gotta move a little faster. Is that what you're telling me? No, 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 no. We're good, we're good. We have time. We've met the designers. Next, we'll meet the experts. They are working to impress. The judges are coming when Cakewalk Wedding Cake Edition returns. How many times have you burned that sugar? Not 400, only four. You burned it four times? Welcome back to Cakewalk. The designers earn points based on their score in specific categories, taste, design, and execution. They're also judged on how closely they follow the couple's wishes and our technical guidelines. And it all happens under the keen eye of our judges. Alexandria Pellegrino, who has had many of her designs featured in top magazines and remains undefeated in every cake competition she has entered. Royal cake designer David McCarfrey, who is internationally sought after for his master classes in cake decorating. And executive chef Gordon Bailey, who's prepared meals for both celebrities and heads of state. You three have years of experience in the culinary design industry. So what are you expecting from our three designers today? We're gonna see some really fashion-inspired cakes today, so I think we're gonna be looking forward to some really cool techniques. I like your hair because it's like icing. Yeah? It is. Anything? A little bit like Very icing. Astute. David, dreamer, cake dreamer, maker. Yeah. What are you looking for? Neatness and precision. Really? I want to see a wedding cake that flows. See, the hands are coming out today. I know, I like yeah. the, I love the hands. Gordon? Today, flat out, I'm looking for finesse. All right, flat out looking for finesse. Yeah, they're beautiful, elaborate designs, and they have a lot of intricacy, and I want to see it come out. All right, judges, we look forward to seeing how the day unfolds. I'm debating on if I should use the pin and mark this, or if I should just freehand it. Well, freehand, you're beautiful. I know, but... I'm also a perfectionist. I am so nervous about this competition. The time frame scares me. I have a very ambitious design, so my goal is just to get it finished at this point. You know what, that's gonna, is gonna take me too long. I'm gonna do this free hand. And hope for the best. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you, Rita? We're fine, how good, are you? Good. Are you used to working under such a tight time oh, constraints today? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Today? Oh, yes. You are. Oh, yes. Okay. That does not bother me at all. So you must be pretty confident coming into this. I, 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 I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> not to brag. <laughs> you don't know what the other ones are doing. So you're confident, but you're not confident in the same time. Barb, how are you coming on those? I'm down to the last one. The circles couldn't be cut fast enough for me. I just needed more circles. You're putting it down to six, right? Because these feel thick. Are they? Yeah, they feel okay. too thick. So I'll go to five. No, six. Oh, that's what, they, that's what I did, six. We decided to call the bottom tier of our cake nonna. Nonna in Italian means grandmother. This was the big, big mama of the cakes. Oh my gosh, look what's happening. When we were bringing Nonna to the fridge, she was a little bit mad at us. <laughs> Pieces were falling out the bottom. Do I fix it now? Do I fix it later? I didn't know what to do. It needed to go in the fridge. It was melting. Put the side facing us so we could fix it. A joke. Did you put the ice mold on? The ice mold. Have you oh, checked thank it? You. And we forgot that batch. Great. Ice mold, you just have to heat it. Pretty easy. It's all cracked on me, so I'm, I'm thinking See? that might not be so good. So I'm going to start all over again. Barb, how many times have you burned that sugar? Not 400, only four. You burned it four times? Can we make this the last time? I can try. We have seven cakes to cover after these two are done. No pressure. Hello, Wendy. Hi. I uh, noticed an aroma coming from the station right now. What could this possibly be? Burnt sugar, maybe? <laughs> how many times has this happened? Apparently four. 
four times. Yeah. The pace you were working at first, I thought this was going to yeah. be done quicker. And then I started to slow down. I planned on making these sugar beads, and um, they should essentially take a little bit of time to dry. And we had a lot to do, so we had to do it quickly. But for some reason, that icing melt got burnt four times. Hello, Caroline. What is this? What does sniffing mean? Cutting attention. We've got some burnt sugar. We've got some unhappy people kind of right now. Oh, really? Now. Wendy's not pleased with her right now. It's a little bit. How do you deal with that when there's tension in the kitchen like that with your assistant? Mistakes are made. You got to put them behind you because you got to go to the greater goal, and that's finishing, right? My spatula is that I. Use your fingers because you're getting them all in. Look at how it's drooping. Oh my god! Unbelievable. Imagine we didn't put the other flower inside the other oh one my inside. god Imagine thank god yeah now. you don't anticipate any problems and then they're there designers you have one hour left until the end of the first round of competition oh my god we still have time lots of time Woohoo! lots of time the center of peony a little tedious it looks like swans real flowers have stamens that dirty the wedding cake so we don't want to use that. The flowers are my life. I love making the flowers. It comes natural to me to make flowers and have fun with them. It's pretty low here. Very low. Bella Vanessa. Nice to be lighter. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? How's it going? It's going. We're at a critical moment. We are. Our cakes are a little bit angled, not, not too, too much, because the one that's going on top is cut the opposite way, so it kind of looks straight, but with sharp edges. When you're preparing these cakes, mm -hmm. structurally, this, this must be a big thing inside. Yeah. It, it is. We have lots of supports inside. We had to draw it up a few times just to make sure everything will be okay. And I'm assuming that you're taking, you know, very specific degrees, even if it's not, you know, a really exaggerated degree. What, like, I mean, if you're off, I, I've seen these cakes before and sometimes they just, you know, they don't look straight, you know, it's, perfectly vertical. It's true. We are taking on specific angles. I hope it goes well. So are you just kind of leaving it to chance? We're gonna, we're gonna leave it to chance because time is moving way faster than we thought. <laughs> they kept questioning me on, is this gonna fit with that? It's so slanted, it's this, it's this. They didn't even see it up yet. Why are they questioning me? Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Don't touch the sides. Wait, did you lose the front of my cake? I had it. Where, Where did you have it? Well, I had it. This was the front. Okay, you me hold it while you climb up. Don't drop it. No, no. Working with my assistant Barb was interesting because this was our first time in a competition, so we're both stressed and it proved to be a challenge at some points because I had asked for things and then she couldn't hear me or was off doing something else and things went missing and so I think we lost quite a bit of time there. Is it up on one of the trays? Yeah, it's right here with all the paints. Designers, you have three minutes until the end of the first round. Please begin to prep and plate your cake samples for the taste test. So I, I have a brain freeze. I had to stop to just like gather my thoughts. Even then, it, it didn't make me feel good. Come but like, are you kidding yes, me? Yeah. It's gonna be... If I don't um, see anything, then what happened? I had to go and concentrate on what I was gonna present the cake and how I was gonna talk to them. God help me, this is the worst part now. Fondant really held in the, the cold, didn't it? Is it hard inside? Yeah, yeah, it's good. No, but once it's on the plate, it'll be good. Look at these. Is it just Fifth fine? times the charm, the beauty of the knife. You're gonna be careful? You sure? Yes. Come on. Oh, yes, very smart. Yeah. Do you wanna cut cut this thin no, piece? No, no, leave the fondant on, you have to. Okay, how much? How... Just in half? Right in half. This is good? That's perfect. Okay. This knife is too big. Making a really big mess. It's chocolate chocolate everywhere. everywhere. The designers face the judges for the first time to prove their cakes are as sweet as our couple when Cakewalk returns. If you have, you know, a conservative bunch at this wedding, they might look at this and push it away and be like, this looks inedible. 